I just want to start this video off by saying that this is for educational purposes only. We have an app on this phone right over here, which we have not seen in a very long time. This iPhone 5 and iOS 6 is connected to WhatsApp, and I'm actually able to send and receive messages, photos, videos, pretty much bringing back a lot of functionality to this device that came out in 2012, which is kind of cool. And I was invited to the beta program from the original developer of this application, so a huge shout out to the entire team behind this project for pretty much putting this all together. This is WhatsApp for legacy iOS. And in today's video, I just wanna talk about how making something like this is actually kind of a big deal when it comes to bringing back functionality to your old Apple products. And having something like this at your disposal is gonna be really helpful, especially when you wanna you know, communicate with people and actually just like use your old devices. Now, in terms of how this thing actually works, you guys would be surprised to see how exactly something like this is actually possible. So basically the way this thing works is you download WhatsApp directly onto your phone via the link that they give you. This thing hasn't been publicly released yet, so I'm not too sure when this thing will be made public, but essentially you'll have WhatsApp on your device and you basically go through the entire uh, setup process. You'll launch it for the first time. And I just love how this entire thing is like iOS 6 theme. So it definitely is a huge flashback. So yeah, you basically go through the entire process and you'll basically need an extra iPhone to actually make this possible. So I ended up using my iPhone 14 Pro. You scan the QR code and yeah, it'll basically connect. But you guys might be wondering like, how does this thing actually work? And this is where the magic happens. So the app from my understanding will basically take the web version of WhatsApp and it'll run it on this iPhone 5. So it's basically like making WhatsApp think that it's running the web version of WhatsApp for Google Chrome, but it's actually running on this iPhone 5. It's like, it's crazy to think about how this actually works. So because this is still in beta, there's gonna be a lot of bugs here and there. I mean, it didn't work for me the very first time uh, when I first set it up, but it did work the second time. And as you guys can see, you can literally send messages back and forth. The UI of this app is also very unique. It's actually a little different from the original WhatsApp on iOS 6, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I'm sure that was done on purpose for like copyright reasons, but some similarities do exist like the double check marks. So that's like a very signature WhatsApp feature. And yeah, this kind of reminds me of like a blend between iMessage and WhatsApp. And it also loads your profile picture too. And uh, yeah, like I mentioned, you can send photos, videos. I actually ended up taking a photo of my entire studio as you guys can see here. Um, and yeah, I was able to send it to my iPhone 14 Pro and it pretty much sent like a champ. Now, I'm not entirely sure as to whether or not WhatsApp will ban someone for using this. Again, this is for educational purposes only. I probably shouldn't try this on my personal number and I wouldn't recommend it. But again, this video is just to demonstrate that something like this does work. And I think it's a pretty cool use case for bringing back functionality to your old Apple products. And so I just wanted to show you guys that something like this is actually possible. And this is a huge deal in the Apple community. It's crazy to think about that there are people who are willing to put their time and energy into bringing back old applications, which honestly is pretty cool. For those who may not know, a lot of features on iOS 6 have actually stopped working in the last couple years. Like the App Store stopped working, Apple Maps stopped working. Here in the US, since 2G and 3G are shut down on the major carriers, you can't even make phone calls on this device. So I know there's some people out there in other countries around the world who can actually still use 3G. So definitely use it while you guys can. But let me know what you guys think about this. Be sure to comment down below if you guys think something like this is cool. Do you guys think more developers should be making applications like these? Um, personally, I think it's a pretty cool use case. It's a fun project to do on the side. And I think bringing back functionality to these old devices is pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.